Today, capturing video is easier than ever. You can capture it with a DSLR, a point and shoot, even a phone. In fact, it's almost impossible to buy a phone that doesn't capture video. Video is shared more places than it ever has been, and yet video, for the most part, doesn't get edited. And when you ask people why, the reason is the experience is pretty intimidating. So I want to show you a really friendly, easy way to do it using Photoshop. So here we are in Bridge, and I'm just going to select this image and hit the space bar to see a full screen preview. This is an edited RAW file, and if I arrow forward, I can see that off of the same camera, I've got some unedited video. So I'm just going to hit Escape, and I'm going to grab this video file. This could be a video file off of your phone or any other consumer device, and I'm going to drag that onto Photoshop. You could also open that from within Photoshop. And as soon as it opens, I get this really friendly timeline. And I can hit the space bar to start playing the video. And the first thing I notice is there's just not a ton of action in the video until partway through. Okay, that's a good spot. So I'm going to hit the space bar again, and I'm going to choose to cut it right there. I'll click Cut. It'll chop that into two different frames. I'll select the one I want to get rid of and hit the Delete key. Now I can scrub over the video and confirm that that's the shot that I want. That looks great. Now, before I do anything else, thinking back to that still image, I really liked that black and white effect that it had. Now, if I'm using a version of Photoshop prior to CC, I can use any of my adjustment layers over here and play around with those. All I need to do is convert this to a smart filter. That's just going to put a wrapper around the video and do the same thing to all of the frames within it. But what's great in CC is that I can come up here and go to Camera Raw. So I can actually open my video clip in Camera Raw. If I come in here, I can convert that to grayscale. I can come back and back down the contrast. I can open up the shadows. I can use negative clarity to sort of soften the edges, because remember, video is lower resolution than those high-res stills. And then click OK, and that effect will be applied to my video. I could add additional video clips over here, but I want to add the still. So I'll double click on that, and Photoshop will drop the still in next to the video. But if I slide over here, we'll notice that, as I mentioned, that still is much higher resolution. So at this point, I'm going to zoom back and hit Command-T to transform that still image. We'll make that a little closer to the actual resolution. That looks pretty good. I'm going to commit the transform. And with this little flyout, I could even choose to animate my still image. I'm going to choose Pan and Zoom. And I'm going to switch it to Zoom Out. So now, if we come here and play that, we'll see that my image pans and zooms. The last thing I want to do is add some transitions. And that's really easy in here as well. Over here, I'm going to click on this Transition widget and I can drag and drop any of these I like. So let's start with a fade with white. I'll drag that onto the start. Let's take a crossfade between the video and the still. Drag those between. And fade with black, and I'll drag that to the end. And when I'm ready, I'll just come up here to File, Export, Render Video. I've got a few different formats, and I've got a lot of different presets. I'm going to choose to go with the highest quality, and I'll just push that straight to my desktop. So we chose to render our video out. You can preview all sorts of different effects and transitions from within Photoshop. And in fact, I just scratched the surface with what you can do editing-wise in Photoshop. You could add type. You could do just about any of the filters or other things that you do in Photoshop to video. Uh, but let's take a look at our render since it's just completed. So we see that it fades in white, I could scrub ahead, and what we'll watch for now is that transition, the crossfade between the video and the still. And we can see that the still is animated as well, and then it's going to fade to black. So you can see without knowing anything about video, it's really easy to use Photoshop tools that you're already using to edit your video, plug in your stills, and export them to a variety of different video formats.